It's Wednesday, January 23rd, 2013. I'm Sam Sheffer, and I've become one with the vibrating point at the center of space and time. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge, presented by Ford. It's Apple Earnings Day. They sold a lot of devices. The company posted $13.1 billion in profit for its latest quarter on $54.5 billion in revenue. Apple sold 47.8 million iPhones, over 10 million more than a year ago. iPad sales also hit a record 22.9 million. Record profit, record revenue, and record sales. And naturally, the stock is down in after hours trading. Speaking of Cupertino, Steve Jobs didn't like competitors hiring Apple employees. He even threatened patent litigation if they didn't knock it off. New court documents have revealed a number of communications between Apple, Google, and other companies. In one email, Steve Jobs told former Palm CEO Ed Colligan he would like the company to stop going after Apple employees. My advice, he wrote, is to take a look at our patent portfolio before you make a final decision here. Mmm, subtle. Did you love politicians accidentally tweeting photos? You haven't seen anything yet. Twitter CEO Dick Costolo demonstrated a new video sharing feature today. From the looks of it, it will let users post short, embedded video clips to Twitter. It's powered by Vine, a startup that Twitter picked up last year. Now, let's cover this again. DMs go to one person. Regular tweets go to everyone. We clear? And that's it for today's top stories. Join us tomorrow when we'll be taking a look at America's obsession with lip syncing. Is it time for an intervention? 